Hello everyone, this is Singy from the Sanctum of the Soul and today I'm at the Noisy Cafe for the energy and got with me the um, Enchanted Blossoms Oracle that I just picked up and that's again in shrink wrap. <laughs> so it's by Carla Morrow and it's a 44 card deck. Um, so fun fact, uh, oh well like fun anecdote anecdote um i got this because i was um i felt the calling to do some very magic well channeling friend baking and um so this that was ordered the very same nights that i called them um and in the morning i had no recollection whatsoever of getting this deck or um I actually ordered two other um, herbs and fairy decks and I have no recollection of getting them at all uh, but whatever it's beautiful so at least the fairies have got good taste and here we go so these are the palm sized dragons with butterfly wings so all the cards are going to have like butterfly dragon things on them which is very interesting and yeah, so it combines the ornate feel of Victorian era illustration with the exquisite winged creations and I'm excited to see it. Now, I haven't got uh, any kind of sharp tool here, but I'm going to have to try my best to open the shrink wrap without damaging the box. Um, oh yeah, and this deck is by Blue Angel, so you can be assured of quality. Um, I'll try using like a key. Apologies for that again. Um, I absolutely hate shrink wrap. I think it's such a waste of resources. Such a terrible waste of plastic. Now we're just going to throw this away. I would have preferred like a paper wrap and that was that would have sufficed for me. But I suppose it's for to guarantee that it hasn't been opened before. But honestly, um, nowadays anyone with the, the proper shrink wrap and um, a hairdryer can do this, so I'm not sure what exactly it guarantees. Mm. There we go. Yay, improvisation. So the key thing is like an old people method here in Singapore. <laughs> The moment I use the key to open anything, my, my friends will be like, Oh, you OD! <laughs> so that's fun. Anyway, we go. So apologies for the noise. Um, they've got kids on the other table. And this is kind of like a tourist hotspot here. So, to be... Ugh. So of course everyone's happy. So the box, um, I didn't notice this when it was in the shrink wrap, but this part here is glossy. And all the cards are glossy, so definitely your typical blue angel quality. Very nice. It's almost like a muted gold, not quite bronze, not quite gold. Beautiful, and yeah. And here we are. So we've got the guidebook, and of course it's... It's beautiful. You can't really tell, but this is the um, slightly yellowish kind of old paper kind of feel. I believe it's probably recycled, which I support wholeheartedly. And these are such beautiful. I mean, look at that. It's so beautiful. And you've got the flower, you've got the butterfly, and all right. So these are actual butterflies. So step aside, Doreen Virtue. <laughs> We've got um, flowers, we've got butterflies, and we've got the... Um, oh, Passiflora. So I was just opening another deck yesterday and Passiflora was there as well. It jumped out at me. So probably have to do some reading on the flower. Anyway, um, so you've got the Latin scientific names, which I love. It's such a bonus. 
very good if you want to look it up online and find the exact species because a lot of butterflies look similar, uh, especially those of the same family. And here we've got the meditations or you know reflections of how the what the card um, should evoke in you. And here, this lovely lady here, Carla Moro, and she has, of course, her creations in the background. Absolutely beautiful. All right, so the cards themselves, oh man, so beautiful. So they are a very nice matte kind of card stock. Um, I'll just set this aside. So they are a matte card stock. Um, very thick cards, very durable cards, and I'm uh, not usually a fan of deck of card backs with words on them, but this one seems tastefully done, and so it's not garish, it's not gaudy, and you know, tasteless. So I love that, and the cards, as you can see, are pretty beautiful. Um, I'm not sure if these are um, deliberate or intentional um, but they kind of do add character to the deck so I'm not complaining um, I'm pretty sure these are like you know friction marks from production but I guess that's okay and here we go so it's going to be um, alphabetically arranged and here we've got Abundance and that's Chrysanthemum with Pop and Jay. So I love that the butterflies have got their common names. Um, I'm not too, you know, I don't really want um, scientific names on my cards because that defeats the purpose. I can't relate to them. Uh, so here we go. And that's Abundance. Affection. Ambition, appreciation, aspiration. The colors are so beautiful, like it's not the boring pink and red scale kind of thing. You've got actual artistic um, thought that went into it. The color wheel, color theory, it has gone into it. Um, so this is absolutely wonderful. Beauty. And I love that the dragons look so dainty, they look so playful, almost, you know, friendly dragons, they're not the scary types. Uh, I'm doing my best to cut off the sound, but they are shouting at the top of their lungs, so... Bravery, oh, that's oak. Compassion, so beautiful. Confidence. Baltimore checker spot. That's courage. Dignity, dreams, elegance. Oh, that's beautiful. So I'm not sure if the butterflies are all primarily American butterflies or if they are. Um, there are any Asian or European ones, but I'm not. I'm not a butterfly expert, so I don't really know. It doesn't really matter. But it was, you know, the entomologist in me um, just wants to know. And endurance, cactus, and a swallowtail. We've definitely got swallowtails in Singapore, but I'm sure they've got them all over the world. They've got um, passion flower and gull fritillary. Beautiful. And we've got freesia with green veined shiraxus. White admiral generosity with honeysuckle. This flower is what drew me to the fairies in the first place and that's what got me the stacks. So. <laughs> and then we've got Grace with yellow jasmine and two-tailed Pasha. Bluebell with brimstone and gratitude. I saw the, I first saw the brimstone at a museum in Sweden. Um, so that did leave an impression because partially because they were like there's a brimstone in the display and I had to search for like 15 minutes to get it because the displays were so lifelike. Um, they had all the stuffed animals and everything and it looked exactly like an ecosystem so I had to find it, it was tiny. 
and we've got Coreops Coreopsis and Common Buckeye Happiness Hawthorn and Black Maned White Hope and we've got Daisy Lupine Inspiration Joy Love Luck Bells of Ireland and by Color Commodore Magnificence Bird of Paradise which is the Heliconia Fun fact I just walked past a whole bunch of them <laughs> and I took a photo of them because they look like they were flattened and they look like a crop circle <laughs> And we've got Common Mother of Pearl, such a beautiful name. Memory, Forget Me Not, New Zealand Red Admiral, Admiral. So I guess that answers the question. They are not primarily American butterflies. They're all over the world, and that's a glass wing, I think. A sort tail. Octavius, yeah, not even going to bother. Bougainvillea, and that's, of course, um, very common in Singapore very thorny as well so passion sounds right um the, i don't think the author drew the thorns and so fun fact again so many fun facts i'm a fountain of fun facts today um these are actually modified leaves they're not the flowers the actual flowers are these tiny ass um tiny tiny little things with petals and they look like stalks and those are the flowers if i'm remembering this correctly Patience with White Monte Casino and Yellow Pansy. We've definitely got lots of pansies in Singapore. Olive and Southern Comma. Keys. Yeah. Symbolic of the olive tree, of course. Euphoria. Euphobia. African Swallowtail. Persistence. Pride Amaryllis and Gaudy Commodore. Whoever came up with that has no respect for butterflies. Gordy, really? I've got Brazilian swallowtails and Allium with prosperity. And these are quite popular um, display flowers. Protection, eucalyptus and monarch. So the monarch butterflies are highly poisonous. Eucalyptus, good for, you know, various ailments. Lavender and Proven. Provencal fritillary, probably some French butterfly. I can't pronounce French, French to save my life. Sincerity and Sherville, unless the Purple Emperor. Got spirituality, cherry blossom, and Chinese peacock. Very interesting choice. Very Asian looking, and I guess that you know. Um, gets into the whole Asian spirituality, Zen, Om kind of thing. Strength, fennel and black swallowtail. The artist loves her swallowtails. <laughs> Duke of Burgundy and Thoughtfulness, with cowslip. I think these are like weeds. So it's interesting that the author has gotten all kinds of plants, not just the important um, ornamental ones but even the weeds and the herbs so i love that and the trees as well and we've got stone crop of the polo and oh this is so beautiful tranquility truth with bittersweet nightshade and morning cloak very interesting because nightshade is poisonous and it's bittersweet so I guess the symbolism is in the name. Um, it is, the truth can be beautiful, it can poison you, it can be hurtful, and it can be bittersweet. And of course the morning cloak. Um, I don't know what you're mourning exactly. Perhaps mourning the loss of innocence or something like that. And wisdom, purple iris with um, common map. It does look like a map. So that's interesting. And so far no complaints at all love every single one of these cards thank you fairies for getting me to get them um i'm just going to do like a mini reading as usual for myself and ignore my knee um this place has got nowhere to prop my phone 
so I have no choice but to do this <laughs> and it's a bit awkward but it's busy enough that nobody's paying me attention so that's fine so I'm just going to shuffle them a bit more and um, damn aspiration large orange sulfur and mountain pink right so I'm just going to ask about again the job because it hasn't they haven't gotten back to me yet so I'm just going to get um, ask about the job and let's see what happens will I get this job tranquility wisdom dreams so lesson learnt um, sincerity and serenity so lesson learnt here don't ask this deck for yes or no questions um, so I, what I got was tranquility wisdom dreams sincerity and serenity so basically shut the fuck up about the questions and ask something else so i will ask something else and pardon the language um i like to be more candid and i think you know it doesn't language doesn't really bother me much let's see let's just have like how will my day be like from here on Protection, excellent start, and passion. I am going to a crystal shop, <laughs> and beginnings. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, that means I will not be spending an inspiration. So that does sound like I'm going to be spending. Um, beauty definitely my friend who's the crystal seller has got beautiful crystals and uh, oh, magnificence so I am going probably going to see something beautiful later that sounds like I'm going to see something beautiful and friendship ah uh, I am going to be bringing a friend to another friend so she's a practicing spiritualist I guess um, and he's a crystal seller so I'm introducing them to each other because he has great crystals and she loves crystals so yeah to friendship so with that beautiful end um, just a summary of what I feel about the deck I absolutely love it. I have absolutely no complaints at all. It's beautiful. Everything from the borders to the words, the, the art, the backs, the card quality, everything is just amazing. Um, kudos to the author, the artist, um, who is Carla Morrow. And lady, you are amazing. I love this so much. Um, I love the deck so much, I love it and I'm going to just put this back because as with all um, Blue Angel decks, the, the boxes are really large and the cards tend to rattle if you don't stuff the tops of the decks with something. Um, this is what I mean, it's going to rattle so I will not let it rattle too much. Um, See, there's this space here, so in my back it's just, you can hear the, the rattling sound and it pains my heart to hear it. So, uh, yeah, since I've got some more time left, might as well, you hear that, that rattle? Let's see if they have any spreads. Um, Aha, uh -huh. so this is a spread for chakra alignment spread. Right. You know what? I'm just going to do that because <laughs> it sounds like an interesting spread. So the seven chakras. Um, I don't really like it when they are too prescriptive, but it doesn't seem like that. It's... Draw seven cards and lay them out in a line, starting from the bottom card. Right. So we'll start from the bottom, like everything else in life. So. 
here we go and let's start start Ow. I almost got a paper cut from the cards. Here we go. So, ow. Hang on, let me just... So whenever you get a cut, try to get the energy healing done in immediately. It um, speeds up the healing after, and it helps um, reduce the chances of you know scars and things like that. So that's always good. And let's see what we've got. Um, for my root chakra, I've got Grace. Um, let me just use the book as a guide. So for the root chakra, it is your base survival, all your connection to the earth and grounding. So I've got grace for that. And let's see what they say about grace. Um, how am I living in grace currently? How am I getting better? Deeply emotional experience, opening yourself to and accepting all the joys and gifts of life, including, yep, yeah, pursue the pinnacle of who you are meant to be. I'm burdened by the heaviness of life. Let go of inhibitions and trust in a higher force. So yeah, that does sound like what I tell my the people I guide as well. So no arguments there. And we've got memory as the sacral chakra, I think. And that would be who you are as a human and the seeds of your creative life force, the self. So I am very connected with um, my ancestral self, or rather, who I am, um, my soul self, and as you know, all the lives, all the existences that I've had. Um, so let's see what it says. Forget me not. What all with whom are my most precious memories? To move forward, we need sometimes need to reflect on our past. When this card makes an appearance, it is asking you to think back on some of your favorite moments. Throughout your day, small moments recall the happy times in your life, and yeah. Yeah, so it is kind of like a bittersweet moment, and because you do remember all the bad and the goods, well, not all of it, but you know, the energy of it. So that does sound very much like the foundation of who I am and my beliefs as a human being. So, no arguments there either. And we've got compassion as my third card, which is the solar plexus chakra, the place of your personal identity, who you are as a person, and confidence. And I've got compassion for that. And that is true compassion. We are not we not only feel and understand the feelings and hurts of others, but we may choose to accept those feelings and help relieve the pain. We may not agree with every view or idea people express, but we can show compassion while holding our own views sacred. So that is also very central to my belief system. Um, I don't have to agree with you to respect your rights to that belief. I don't have to agree with you to respect you as a person or to be your friend. And I hope that people show me the same attitude. Um, you don't have to agree with me, but you know, we can still be friends. It's not a deal breaker. And we kind of see that a lot in the world right now, you know, like politically and you know, socially. We've got so many different camps all fighting, all shouting at each other rather than sitting down and you know, in a place of compassion and respect. Why do you hold those beliefs? Why do you harbor that belief? Um, so instead of that, we are seeing a lot of that in fighting. And you know, a lesson that I've learned so far is whenever I disagree with someone, especially online, 
I try to reach out in the place of agreement. So I find something that they said that I can't agree with. And then we kind of sparks off this connection and we tend to realize that we've got more in common than um, in opposition. So it is actually very liberating to know that, you know, we are a lot more common than a lot more similar than we think. Um, even if you know, like for example, in the Americas, you're so divided between the Democrats and the Republicans and the Trump supporters. And, but if you just sit down and talk to each other, you realize that a lot of things, a lot of base values and morality and belief systems are actually very similar. We're not that different. Um, and we're just letting all these external factors tear us apart, and that's terrible. Anyway, that was long, long digression. And for the heart chakra, I've got generosity. Um, heart chakra, of course, is the cradle of your kindness, compassion and love, healing, um, and it's generosity, which is honeysuckle. Hello, fairies. Um, fairies, we got her. Huh? Okay, how can I be more generous with myself and others? What do I have to offer? Yep. Once you're giving yourself joy, you can begin sharing it with others. Be altruistic with your money, your possessions, all your time. The more you give, the more you have to give. And throat chakra, we've got luck. Bells of Ireland, very apt for throat chakra, the bells. Um, and with, what does it say? It says, where the truth of who we are is housed, my voice. So luck. There we go, and... You must be ready for it, all the hard work. When someone gets a lucky break, the success is attributed to chance rather than all the hard work leading up to that point. To an extent, yes, but to an, another extent, it is also, we tend to discount luck um, as a factor in success as well. Um, for example, when we, you know, when we read about a famous person's success, and we kind of forget that, in a way, luck did have a, a role to play. Um, a lot of people are just equally as hardworking, and they just don't get anywhere. And of course, there's a lot of factors involved, but chance is one of the factors that we shouldn't be discounting. But of course, the opposite is true as well. We shouldn't attribute the entire thing to chance. So, my throat chakra, luck is showing its face here to tell you to be more open and to listen for anything that may nudge you in the direction of your dreams. Be open to unplanned situations and experiences, so play it by ear. And yeah, I do agree with that. So, dignity, that's the, the ashna, the third eye chakra. And that would be where we see and feel what is beyond our perceived world and wisdom. And I've got dignity. And dignity is not something you need to learn, earn, or inherit. The card is a reminder that to be human is to be born into dignity. That is not a quality that can be taken from you, but it is something our treatment of others can lack. So while a behavior policy or com comments can be demeaning, it cannot be belittle someone's human rights to dignity. Remember everyone comes with the right to be treated with kindness and respect, regardless of the situation you find yourself in, know your place in the world and hold tight to your sense of worth and act with dignity. Right, so one thing that I've been telling people and in my practice as well is when I perceive things with my third eye, um, I don't see form, I don't ascribe a, you know, a, a I don't ascribe the form to it, I don't ascribe a perceived um, opinion to it. I just see what is there and, you know, without judgment. For example, if I'm channeling something like not as savory to people, for example, a low entity or like a demon or something like that, I don't ascribe a form to it, I don't let my preconceived notions of it color my opinion of it, color my connection to it. I connect to what is there the actual soul and I think that is offering dignity to the entities we are saying that um, you know I'm not going to let 
someone else's words or preconceived notions you know, ruin or affect our relationship, our connection and you're just going to connect to what you have to offer, who you truly are and I, you know, I think that's again, very similar to my beliefs about everything else um, to see what is truly there and work with what is there and I think that is very true and very interesting and of course the crown chakra has got wisdom uh, the crown chakra, the connection to all the energy of life that flows within and outside of the self, pure consciousness, and I've got wisdom. There we go. Wisdom is associated with aging, but it's a trait that should be cultivated and nurtured. Insight. How can I cultivate wisdom? Understanding doesn't come from staying safe in your own little bubble. Yep. Yeah, the wisdom wherever you can find it so in every little thing in the world you can find it you can find it in you know human interactions on a daily basis you can find it on animal interactions you can find it and just randomly realizing how things work for example in a business and yeah Right, so this is great, and let me just look at that. The following users would be wonderful. Um, so, the spread will help point you to the aspect you need to work on to balance the chakra. It may also indicate that you're ready to improve or experience self-growth and all that. Yeah. So this is beautiful. Um, definitely a good reminder of what to continue doing, um, and also. You know, just an interesting spread because I, you seldom find. Um, I, I I'm just very interested when I see spreads like these because they just call to me and I'm like, oh yes, I can do that, and I can do that for myself. I can do that for other people as well. Um, so yeah, um, two readings now or three, and they've all been very, very intuitive, very good, and yeah, so definitely. Two thumbs up for this deck. Um, I will definitely recommend it. It's so beautiful. It's so such a well-made deck. Quality, color, everything. It's just worth every cent. Um, yeah, that's about it for today. And I apologize for the noise. I hope to. I really hope that um, my voice can be heard because I am literally yelling into the phone. <laughs> So yeah, this is Singy from the Sanctum of the Soul and I will see you in the next um, review. I've actually got a whole stack of reviews that <laughs> are somewhere in my phone and I just haven't had the time to upload it because it is a bit to transfer um, videos or files from the iPhone to the computer and yeah, I tried uploading with the iPhone and it just doesn't work. So. See you next time and have a brilliant weekend, week ahead, have a brilliant day ahead and yeah, thanks for watching.